Hey everybody, my name is Nicholas DeCola. I'm a Principal Program Manager here at InCloud and AI Security. And today we're gonna to talk about all the ways that you can get data into Azure Sentinel. So Azure Sentinel is a service you install on top of a log analytics workspace. So that's where we store all the data that we're going to use inside of Azure Sentinel. So first and foremost, how do we get the data from our cloud services? So for things like Office 365 and AWS, when you connect those data connectors, we create a microservice that will pull this data into your log analytics workspace that's used by Azure Sentinel. So very easy, one click, you connect that data source uh, and you're able to pull that data in. Next up is your Azure Cloud Services. So for all the services in Azure, we support diagnostic logs. And so you can configure uh, those diagnostic logs to send to Azure Log Analytics, and that will push the logs into that workspace so you can then use them inside of Azure Sentinel. Next up is virtual machines. And it doesn't matter if those virtual machines are on premise in Azure or some other cloud. We have an agent we call the Microsoft Monitoring Agent, or MMA for short. And with this agent, once you install it, it will connect to Log Analytics and it will push all the logs on those machines. And the advantage to the agent is we can get anything from the event log, syslog on Linux, as well as grab any custom .log file that you want to grab from the machine to grab additional data. So the question after that becomes, what about my third-party appliances, such as firewalls or web proxies? So for your firewalls, you will need to stand up another virtual machine on-premise or in the cloud with that Microsoft monitoring agent in there. And you will configure this as a Ceph collector. And we have a nice script that you can run that will configure Ceph collection. And on your firewall, you will configure syslog to send that data to the virtual machine running the Microsoft monitoring agent. We will parse that data and send it into log analytics to be used by Azure Sentinel. Also, uh, another way you can get data in is through Azure Logic Apps. With La Azure Logic Apps, you can run a workflow such as have a web listener listen for a packet or payload uh, from an on-prem device, take that, parse that data, and send it to Azure Log Analytics in the same workflow. We also have a nice threat intelligence capability to pull in your TI data to correlate with your other data that you're bringing in from all these sources. And so here, you send that data using the Graph Security API. Or in Stix Taxi format uh, via our Stix Taxi connector. And then lastly, Azure uh, Log Analytics has an API for uploading data. And so you can write this into your custom application to send data in there. Now we've had some partners who have also integrated with this API, such as F5, who can send their data directly to their API without having to do Ceph collection. So thanks for taking the time to watch today. You can check out more information on docs.microsoft.com under Azure Sentinel. And as well, we recommend that you join our security communities at the link below. Thank you.